Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making hamburger soup in our slow cooker. All while having a whole lot of fun. It's hot. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we're cooking up another dish from Recipes That Crock. Dot com and today we are going to make an Aunt Lou special. This is hamburger soup. Now, I know there is a cheeseburger soup on the site. This is not like that. Think of this more as like a beef vegetable soup, kind of like you'd have, or a stew. Uh, but this is like something like maybe you'd want to do if you said, hmm, I got a pound of hamburger in the fridge and I need something to do with it. Well, I know what to do with it because it's cold outside. Like super cold and I'm hearing that this weekend it's gonna be super 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 like put a cape on it super cold and so when I think cold I think soup and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this wonderful hamburger soup and I'm gonna enjoy it and what you're gonna need for this recipe are the following ingredients you need one pound of ground beef we use a lean you could use whatever you want you want uh, three ribs of celery you want them to be cleaned and then you want to dice them up and then you want to do the same thing with an onion. Dice up an onion and in our slow cooker here, I'm using my Ninja. You can do this on a stove top if you want to or if you've got one of the slow cookers that does the browning feature in it, you can do it right there in the pot. And so in here I browned up a pound of that hamburger and I added the onion and the celery to it. That's going to warm up that onion until it's a little translucent and it's going to soften up that celery as well and it's going to give some good flavors. And then to that, now that we've got that done, you can drain that if you want to. I'm not going to. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And to that, I'm going to add one great big honking can of tomato juice, vegetable juice, V8, something like that. I've got 46 ounces here. So this is going to be the stock for your soup. And to that, I'm going to add one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes and you want to leave the juices with that. Again, you're going to put some acid in there with those tomatoes, give it a lot of flavor, a little bit of bulk with those tomatoes in there. It's already smelling really good in here between the onions and the beef and all those tomatoes. Another thing you want to have is a 15, 15 and a half ounce, depending on what you're getting, can of kitty beans that you have rinsed and drained. So there's no goop in there, it's nothing but beans. That's going to add a little bit more bulk to it, to make it really, really hearty. And then I've got three potatoes that I have peeled and diced and also washed them off. Right in there like that. Notice how this is a dump and go recipe. A little bit of prep with the beef, but other than that, it's really simple. Let me stir that up real quick. Let everything incorporate in and give me a little room here on top. And then to give it that really good beefy flavor to go along with that strong tomato flavor, I'm going to add four beef bouillon cubes right in the pot. If I can get my bouillon open. It's like opening a teeny tiny present. One. I should have opened these beforehand because, oh my goodness. Three. See if I got my practice down. See if I can get this one faster. Oh, I think I got this one. And four. There you go. Four bouillon cubes. And then to add more flavor to it, we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. You got to make those sound effects when you do that, right? At least I do. You're going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt, so it's going to be super garlicky, and this is going to add some salt to it. Let's see if I can make that sound again. Just like that. And then, salt and pepper to taste. I'll add just a few twists. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then, I'm going to go easy on salt itself because we've already got that garlic salt in there but this is also a big dish. So I'm going to add a good strong pinch in there and that's all I'll do for now because again this is one of them family meals. This is a lot of soup and so I figure people can salt and pepper to their taste. Maybe some hot sauce in there. 
maybe some red pepper flakes, just whatever you want to do. But look at that. That is a hearty hamburger soup. Again, you're just making a soup, like a beef soup, beef vegetable soup. Look at them taters swimming around. Get that all stirred up good. And now what you want to do is put a lid on it, and then you want to cook this. You can cook this on low for 8 to 10 hours, or you can cook it on high for 4 to 6. What you're looking for mainly is to make sure that your celery is soft as well as your potatoes. The longer you let this cook, the more those flavors are all going to soak in together. So 8 to 10 on low if you can, 4 to 6 on high if you don't want to take that much time. But we're just going to show you what it looks like, and I'm going to show you my face when I see what it tastes like in 3, 2, 1. And we are back, and the two words y'all want to hear are the two words I want to hear. Soup's on! And this is what we got. Nice steaming pot of soup. It's probably going to fog up this camera a little bit because it is steamy. I just shut it off. I am using a metal ladle in my wife's nonstick ninja. I'm going to be super, super careful. I want to show you, I'm probably going to have to pull this off of here because I would imagine that that is all kinds of fogged up yet. I'm going to take a fork, if you look right there is a tater and you'll know that your soup is done whenever, that's better, you can take that tater, that fork and just run it straight through that tater just like that. That soup is done y'all. Let's go ahead and get me a bowl of it because I have not had lunch yet. I've been taping all day and I haven't really had a chance to eat anything yet. Some things are still cooking, but this is good to go. Now, one thing I'll tell you is those potatoes, uh, the starch from those potatoes will thicken that soup up quite a bit. So to me, it's kind of like a hybrid between uh, a chili and uh, it's just a real thick, hearty soup though. But don't take my word for it, make it yourself. And if you need more proof that you need to believe me, watch me take a big old bite of that. Let me get some celery, some of them beans. Of course, the meat, I chopped it really fine since I'm going to be the one eating this. So the meat's all throughout there. Let's see how it needs salt or not. It's hot. It's still hot. Mmm. Mmm. Nope. Don't need salt. Don't need pepper. If I wanted to add some heat to it, I'd probably throw in some uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce or maybe some red pepper flakes. If I just wanted that heat, we could always finely dice up some jalapenos and put in there. But really, that's just perfection. That is warmth that is hearty it's filling because you've got all those potatoes and beans and beef so you got plenty of starch in there you've also got lots of protein the tomato juice that i put in there along with those diced tomatoes give it that acidity to go along with the heartiness of that um you know the rest of that soup with its potatoes especially potatoes and tomatoes you can't go wrong but that is super super good y'all I'm scared to take another bite because it's so hot. Maybe I should have let it cool down a minute, but I'm not usually one to wait. Mm. So instead, you'll see me make this face. That is a winner, y'all. Mm. Good job for writing that recipe post, Aunt Lou. That is super, super good. Super good. What also would be super good is if you gave us the thumbs up down below if you're liking these videos. And also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, then click the subscribe button down below and become a member of the family we call the Croc Posse. Also, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button called the Ding-A-Ling. That'll let YouTube know that you want to know as soon as we put up a new video. And the most important thing here, y'all, is to laugh off, eat good food, and speak life. See y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.